It's time to talk about emotional health. I've got a lot of videos talking about physical health, but let's talk about emotional health. This is a dumbbell. It's a five pound dumbbell. It's pretty light. Most people can pick one up. Let's pretend that this is an emotional experience. It's a tiny little emotional experience. Most people can carry it, toss it around, feel like they're handling it. Um, this particular emotional experience might be um, your experience with the death of a pet when you were very young. Seems heavy to a very young person, but to an adult, it's not that big a deal. We understand life moves on. But if we go over here, we grab a 20 pound weight. This one's a little, a little harder to carry. Maybe this represents uh, the girlfriend who broke up with you in middle school or the girlfriend you never had in middle school because you were made fun of all the time. As life goes on, these emotional experiences get heavier. Maybe the 40 pound dumbbell is the death of your grandmother as an adult. A little bit heavier. By now, if you haven't learned to put this thing down or those other things down, it can almost seem like you're just getting a workout. I'm tough. I carry more weight than other people. That's not how this works. These weights stack up and you only have so many hands and you only have so much physical energy in your body to carry it. The mind can overcome that stuff, but you have to recognize what it is that you're carrying in order to set it down and be free of it. These physical weights, metaphorically representative of our emotional weights, do the same thing when we try to interact with people. Go ahead and try to shake hands with a 40 pound dumbbell. You, you gotta switch hands and then reach out and shake. And if you have too many of them, if you're carrying a five and a 10 and a 40, how do you ever let anything else into your life? We've gotta learn how to process our emotions better, guys. You're not getting a workout by carrying this stuff. You're getting worn out by carrying this stuff. It's affecting your relationships, it's affecting your job, it's affecting your kids, and most of all, it's wearing you out physiologically. A lot of our mystery ailments can be chalked up to psychological distress. So I invite you to take time over the next day, or week, or weekend, whenever you'll be watching this video, and uh, examine the emotional stress that you're carrying in your life that you don't have to. I purposely picked the gym because the gym is where we come when we want to work out and look good and feel good. This particular gym has no mirrors. What if we couldn't see the physical progress we were gaining by working out? That's how your emotional health looks. You can't see it. You can only feel it. So stop looking in the mirror to see how big your chest is. Start getting into your therapist to see how your mind is okay. And if it's not, work on it. Learn some stuff about emotional functioning. Communicate with your most trusted friends, relatives, partners, and take care of what needs to be taken care of because this all goes away. The mind will stay with you for much longer than your physical body. Make sure you take care of it. If you like this, check out all the other videos on Zephyr Wellness' YouTube channel or go to zephyrwellness.org. We got videos and articles. Thanks. I wish you good mental health.